Hey y'all, I just wanted to come on here and keep you in remembrance. In case you don't know, or in case it slips your mind at times, misery loves company. Misery absolutely, positively, 100% loves company. And why do I say that? I say that because there's a lot of miserable people that walk the face of this earth. You might have some in your family. You might have some as friends. You might have some as spouses, as partners right now. And their miserable souls literally cannot find happiness within themselves. So look and seek to cause you misery because they're miserable. But I wanna keep you in remembrance that because you know that misery loves company, you must be always on guard. You must be always on point. You must be always making sure that your energy is, uh, is, is um, protected and kept. And if you're a chosen one, then you are always protected as a chosen one. I don't know if you know this, but you're always protected as a, a chosen one. You have angels all around you. You're, you're, the universe, God, the earth moves for you. Everything you touch is blessed as a chosen one. Everything that you do has meaning behind it. And everything that you go through as a chosen one is for a purpose. I don't know who needs to hear that, but let me say it again. Everything that you go through as a chosen one is for a purpose. So never think that whatever it is or whatever trial, fire, or um, test that you're going through at the moment, understand that on the other side of that is your paradise. Understand that on the understand that on the other side of that is your destiny, is your purpose, is what God has laid out for you. And everything that you touch is blessed. As a chosen one, everything that you touch is blessed. Everything. God is constantly moving on your behalf. God is constantly shifting things around for the things and the plan that he has for you. So I just come on here real quick to remind you that misery loves company. So don't allow miserable people and people who aren't satisfied within themselves and people who aren't happy within themselves and people who are miserable within themselves cause you to be miserable, cause you to be saddened cause you to feel any form of defeat no you're not defeated you're an overcomer as a chosen one and there's nothing that you can't go through there's nothing that you can't go through that's why you've been through so much in your life that's why you've had so many things thrown at you in your life is because you are chosen because the calling and the plan that god has for you is greater than most so you had to go through more in order to be refined more, in order to come out as gold, in order to become that diamond, you had to go through that pressure. You had to go through that period. And if you're in the middle of that period right now, as a chosen one, understand that when you finish, when you come out on the other side, you're going to be so awakened you're going to be so ready. You're going to be so strong. You're going to be so filled and whole within self that you cannot be phased. That there, is, there will be no doubt in your mind of who you are. There will be no um, doubt of what you're called to do. There'll be no doubt of your purpose. There'll be no doubt of the plan that God has for you. So go through it. Go through it and grow through it is what I'm here to tell you, is what I'm here to encourage you and understand that misery loves company. That's part of it. People love, people who are miserable love to see other people miserable with them. They don't wanna be, uh, have misery and sadness and anger and depression and stuff alone. They don't want that. Toxic individuals, narcissistic, narcissistic individuals wanna see you miserable with them. They want to see you sad, down, downtrodden, feeling um, miserable with them. Don't give them the satisfaction. You see, when people start getting into their um, negative state of mind and into negativity and poverty mindset and, and have no desire to grow and desire to be toxic, 
you have to separate yourself from them people you have to cut them off and i'm gonna say this very often have no problems walking away from people and things that do not benefit your life have no problem walking away from people who don't want good for you people who don't have your best intentions for people and situations who aren't advancing or trying to or or don't desire the best for you and you know people don't have the best for you when they are downplaying you when they are talking bad about you when they are belittling you and trying to take and jab at your self-esteem when they are trying to cause you any form of misery because they're miserable when people are miserable they love to see you miserable with them but i'm here to tell you do not give them the satisfaction do not don't you dare as a chosen one get down or stoop down to the level of someone else's misery ever allow people to be miserable on their own you have got to learn especially in relationships i see this a lot where the person will be manipulating you and you aren't consciously aware that they're manipulating you or using a manipulation tactic to get a reaction out of you or, or, or um, to get some form of validation out of you so they'll use like something like the the silent treatment on you and instead of and so so they'll look miserable have a miserable face um be miserable looking sitting there quiet and you're trying to plead with them on what's wrong and you're trying to say well what did i do what what's wrong what did i say what did i how are we gonna how am i gonna know what to fix if i don't know what i did if i don't know what's wrong and you're trying to beg and plead these toxic individuals to tell you what you did wrong when in reality it, you didn't do nothing wrong when in reality, it's nothing that you did wrong. They're simply using a manipulation tactic to get a desired outcome that they desire, which is for you to lower yourself, which is for you to um, be inferior to them, which is for you to be pleading and begging for their validation, pleading and begging for them to speak to you, pleading and begging in that situation. When I say misery loves company, in a situation like that, you are supposed to walk. If someone is using a silent treatment on you, and this is gonna be a whole new video, I can see it. This is gonna be a whole separate video, the silent treatment and different manipulation tactics of toxic individuals. But I'm gonna say it right here just a little bit. When people are using the silent treatment on you, that's one form of manipulation to try to control you, to try to gain control over you. If you're not consciously aware of that, then when you see that, you will be trying to plead with them and beg you, beg them to tell you what is on, going on. And this is the part of why I say misery loves company, because in that situation, they want you to be miserable with them. They're already miserable on their own, but they want you to feel some misery with them. By them continuously ignoring you and using that silent treatment on you and then you having to beg them is going to make you feel miserable with them. But when you see misery loves company, you are supposed to dismiss yourself, walk away from, cut off, separate yourself from the thing, the person, whatever, the demon, okay? So never allow someone else's misery to conform you to be miserable as well. I don't have much time today, y'all, but I'm getting ready to drop some new content and I just am so appreciative of all the support that y'all give, all of the comments that y'all y'all write, all of the subscribers that I get, all of the likes that y'all do, all of the sharing that y'all do. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart, from all of my heart, I love y'all. And I'm just so excited to see how we can grow and become better versions of ourselves collectively as chosen ones. All right, so I don't have much time right now. I will be back on here. I wanna make a whole video about the um, manipulation tactics of toxic individual and narcissists. So be looking out for that. And until next time, I'll speak with y'all later. Bye.